When you're using GB Time Lapse Auto Ramp in bulb mode with neutral density filters, it's good to know the exact value of each filter. Even though a filter may say it's three stops, it may not be exactly three stops. And for the auto ramp to work, you need to know the exact number of f stops for each filter you're using. So to do that, there's an easy way to do it. Here I've got um, a 5D Mark II set up, and I'm taking a photo of a scene indoors um, in bulb mode at one second, F11, ISO 100, and I'm going to I'm going to use it in auto ramp. I'm going to turn on auto ramping. I'm not going to adjust the AAV or the ISO, but I'm going to uh, let this run and then put a filter on and measure how many f-stops it is by looking at how the bulb time changes. I'll show you how to do that. Normally, auto ramp is set to respond a little more slowly with a lower sensitivity, but for this test I want it to respond quickly to changes, so I'm going to change the sensitivity go to Project, Project Settings, Shutter, Auto Ramp Sensitivity. I'm going to make that, instead of 0 0.1, I'm going to make that 1.0. Sensitivity 1 makes it respond much more quickly to changes in light. Let's just begin this time lapse. Every six seconds it's going to take an image And the outer ramp is trying to maintain a target luminance of 128. You can see without a filter on, it's hitting it pretty close, 128. So now I'm going to pause and put a filter on. And then resume. You should see the image get much darker. There it is, a three-stop filter. It's much darker. The luminance dropped way down. Now auto ramp is going to try and bring that luminance back up to 128 by increasing the exposure time. See right now the bulb exposure time is 6.31 seconds. It was, we started out at 1 second and the bulb exposure value is 2.659. The luminance isn't quite up to 128 yet. But auto ramp is going to be increasing this bulb exposure time to try and get to that 128 value. Without the filter at one second bulb, the bulb, bulb exposure value was zero. So now with this filter, it's creeping up to over three. When it stabilizes at 128, the bulb exposure value will be the exact number of f-stops of the filter we added. You can see already that this filter marked as three stops is more than three stops actually. Here we're at 128 and you can see the bulb exposure value is 3.239 so we can say that the uh, f-stop rating for this filter is about 3.23. That's a pretty bad one actually other filters I've used are much closer to three but uh, just a, as an illustration that uh, they're not what's marked on the box. So if I, I'm going to stop this now. So in the future, to use this filter, I'll just mark it as 3.23 for that first filter. I can measure two other filters that I use uh, frequently and put those values in also and choose to add them or not. So that's how you determine the actual number of f-stops of a neutral density filter using GB time-lapse auto ramp.